Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 27 of the Lico June Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me in Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom. Uh, we're near the end of the month, so hope everyone's doing okay. We have, uh, oh man, and today another uh, hard problem. It's a little bit, been a little bit difficult, so we'll see how it goes. Um, today I've been just resting. Uh, it's way actually today it's been less hot than other days, but I've been kind of resting, just doing some uh, minor exercises. But uh, yeah, when weekends get here, I oh I forgot I have a race on Saturday, so that'll be fun. We'll see how that goes. Uh, follow me on Instagram, I guess, if you want to be curious. But uh, yeah, all right, let's take a look at today's problem. We have twenty fourteen longest subsequent repeated k times. Uh, you give me a string s length n integer k your task to find the longest subsequence repeated k times the string s okay so you have string s find a subsequence that is repeated and for example let uh what, how does the yet thing oh wait no what what is that et ete oh this is ete not et ET. Okay, I was very confused. Okay. And. Whew, okay. Um, N and K is 2000. What's K again? I'll repeat it. K times. And you have length N in the string. And yeah, a subsequence is repeated K times. I mean, we know what subsequence K time is. Okay. Um, hmm. Don't have anything off the bat, but uh, but I, I want to say, for example, k can also be. It's almost like a minimum, right? Because if you repeat three times, it's you know it's still satisfied, um, I believe. So, um, and we're trying to get the longest, the subsequence is longest, but I guess given k, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Hmm. What are approaches that I'm thinking of right now? Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, I, I was thinking initially of maybe something like a try, but that doesn't really make sense. I think that's the TLDR. And why it doesn't make sense, I don't really have a good answer for. It's just about experience and kind of think about it. I think some part of it is just thinking about subsequence in that subtle way. So a try doesn't really make sense. And also similar to that uh, to that effect, suffix array or suffix treat also at least not intuitively makes sense because it is subsequence, right? Um, I mean, given given a, a, a specific subsequence, we can find how many times to repeat it in linear time. So that's okay. And n is 2000. So maybe we are able to do something. And um, n is 2000. So, um, so we are able to do something n squared, perhaps, or even n times k, depending on, on something like that. Uh, there is this constraint that I kind of skipped over but, because I didn't immediately understand it, but maybe we have to kind of think about it, which is that n is at least two elements, but less than k times 8. What does k times 8 mean? So that means that if n is 1,000, then k is at most 125 or something, right? What does that mean? What's K again? Repeat it. Mm. Hmm. Honestly, I don't have any immediate ideas. Um, still don't. I mean. I, uh, right now I'm thinking, is there any like binary search E solution? Like, um, like, is there a length? X for some X. Don't know. I'm still leaning toward finding an N times K solution, maybe. Well, this is very awkwardly phrased. Because if K is, I guess K could be 2000 and N could be 2000. So N times K, maybe. Um, what would? How would you do an N times K thing? Um, hmm.
I guess the idea, uh, I think one idea that I'm thinking of is some sort of like breakfast search type thing, right? Uh, and what I mean by that is that, okay, that because the answer can build one character at a time, right? What I, what I mean by that, and I don't know, it, it is very wonky. I have to kind of work out the math, but I think like there may be some, my initial impression is that maybe there's some like internal um, pruning that allows it to be true, right? Uh, to make it go fast enough. Otherwise, you know, web first search can be a huge space. But um, but I think may, maybe, maybe, I don't know yet. Uh, this can help for that as well. But the idea is that, okay, if you have a subsequent, for example, LE, even example one, sorry, I keep jumping back and forth. For example one, LUT is the answer, right? Well, uh, LUT is the answer, but that also means that L is the answer, or not not the best answer, but it's a possible answer, and LE is also a possible answer, right? So L, LE, and LUT, right? So that means that that's how I, I figured out that like you could build on it. And it makes sense intuitively, right? Because it has to, if like, for example, uh, well, I guess this is only K is equal to two, but in this case, L has to appear at least twice, and then LE has to appear twice, and then, you know, to add new characters add in um and maybe we can do a sort of a breakfast search type thing um but i i'm trying to think how slow that is um because in like what is the worst case that you can construct well it's 2000 characters so you, you do one character and then you kind of just do a loop okay but then now you do it tw 26 times that and then Because mm, cause there are a lot of possible small inputs, right? But if you have bigger inputs, that's fine. In the sense that um, like if your best your current best is like ten characters, well there are not that many choices for you to extend if K is big enough, right? So I don't know. Alright, let's let's YOLO try this a little bit, um, and then we'll figure it out, maybe. Uh, and if not then we have to either optimization or optimize or something like that but maybe we have like uh you know like best is equal to do right start is equal to and we can use a breath first search type thing uh, q dot append to do right i guess we don't need to start uh, current is equal to q dot pop left and then um yeah and then so this is possible. Everything that we put in is possible. So then now we maybe try, um, and I might have to handle the the string stuff better. But we try every character maybe. Um, mm, yeah, maybe characters is equal to set of s. So I don't have to do the entire alphabet, even though you know of course it's very easy to create an input with twenty six characters but at least this is slightly faster right so then if current plus x and then maybe we have a thing that's a uh, try or go calculate whatever calculate uh, this if this is greater than or equal to k then q dot append current plus x and then that's it really right uh, and the last thing that we calculate is going to be the best so so, eh, I mean, which is true, but I, but then this makes that this assignment kind of, uh, I don't know, that means that we're setting this order time, which maybe has a performance uh, issue, but um, is it true that it's going to be the last one that we operate? I think so, because we're going from the smallest first. But yeah, uh, uh, all right, we'll, we'll worry about whether we need to worry about that later. But now we have to do the calculate, and the calculate should be pretty straightforward, assuming that this is fast enough. And honestly, there is a you know part of me that is very um, tricky about this. I, I think it has to do something with K, this thing. Because if K is too big, then that's good in the way that you eliminate things. If K is too small, if k is too small, then and you may have to do something crazy. But 
in that case, that's why this constraints because k cannot be too small relative to n. Okay, I could buy that. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. Index is equal to zero. Uh, and my head hurts. Okay. So for i in range of uh, n, right? So if s sub i is equal to current sub index, then index increment by one, and then that's it, really. Right, and then, um, yeah. If index is greater than equal to length of current, then we return true. Well, I guess we. Oh, I forgot that, but to count the number of times, I, I think I'm just confusing things. Okay, if this is true, then uh, I mean it's an easy fix, but it's pretty bad. Uh, increment by one, index is equal to zero, right? And then it then return with count is oh I guess we just return count because I did to calculate here and we could run it real quick uh just to see what's up. Uh yeah, oh hmm. I mean it's good that we have the length, but I thought that we would have huh. I, I, I thought that E T E would run first, for example. So then that's why this would be last. It's either that or we terminate early. Huh, how did this happen? E, 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 T, T, E. Oh, oh. Because usually I do it in alphabetical order, but, but here, because we have this thing, uh, <laughs> and that's a set instead, so it's not sorted. Um, if I wanted this, okay. That's actually a very silly mistake. That um, If it wasn't caught on examples, I could have easily made a mistake. And with set, it's... It's not always deterministic, so it's kind of hard to say. All right, um, YOLO submit, honestly. Uh, the the complexity is way tricky to analyze. Um, maybe we'll spend more time to analyze it if it runs, right? Um, okay. I mean, it's very slow, eight seconds, but it is fast enough. Uh, we'll think about how to optimize. Uh, let's see. Right. It, mm, um, I wonder if there's an easy way to uh, just copy the pointer. I forget how to do it. In, or I don't know if there's a way to copy string by pointer. Uh, string, because I knew oh that string is immutable. Oh, so simple assignment works. Okay, so I guess that's not that fast then. Uh, sorry, that's not this, that slow, so I don't have to worry about that. Maybe the addition is kind of wonky. Uh, maybe we can just write like, eh. let's write do it twice. Though I, I don't know how much effort this is in terms of optimizing. Um, quick submit, and here I kind of make it all, and maybe we could be a little bit faster with looking with character index looks up lookups. Uh, and can, it may add a lock n factor. This is actually slower, which is kind of funny uh, because maybe because of, you have to store it. But yeah, um, like you could do binary search here uh, and kind of do like advanced parsing things. But um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the whole thing is going to be that this is just too uh, slow, right? I mean, I, I'm not happy about this, but. Um, Let's take a look at the complexity. I mean, this one, eh, that's tough to say. How many possible answers are there? I think that's the question, right? Because it has the potential to be O of N, or more than O of N, sorry. But I don't know by how much. Uh, I mean, this is O of N, this is O of alpha, right? Um, so th th these two parts are easy to ca calculate, but how many possible answers are there? If k is small, then you could keep growing, I suppose. Like with k is 1, uh, I know that that's not actually possible, I think. Uh, well, actually, I guess k could be. No, no, k has to be 2. Um, but let's say k is equal to 1, then you have some like n square possible thing. So I think there, this does a lot of work, but I, honestly, I'm not, today I'm not, a, I'm having some trouble. 
um, try to figure out what that is. Um, how, how did I do it last time? I mean, I did it pretty fast last time. So maybe let me, huh. Oh, I, I mean, I, obviously I didn't click on it yet, but can I do a little bit better? Better? I mean, BFS is fine. I think that, well, there is some stuff here where maybe we eliminate some possibilities as well. Uh, maybe trying every character is not really the way to go. So um, on every time. But I, I don't know. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. I'm curious. How did I do last time? I, I Apparently that video is going to be a little bit better. If AZ is a possible answer, then AZ. Okay. Oh. I mean, this is the same thing, but we, we use um, the, this bit mask to, to point out all the things that it can no longer be possible. I see. So, I mean, that, that is the optimization that I was actually talking about, but I didn't think that, I, okay. Which is that um, if, some, if a character is not possible once in this PFS, then that means that in the future it's not going to be possible either, right? Um, so that's basically the the conceit here with the optimization. But um, like for example, if, uh, if 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 Kern is you go to say L E and you try L E A, oops, and it doesn't exist or it doesn't work then we just never try A in the future again. So if we have T in the future, we don't try L-U-T-A. So that's kind of the idea of the other solution, which we were kind of uh, uh, hinting about, but I was too lazy to do. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to analyze the complex of this one too easily, honestly. Um, I think this has mostly to do with it, but um, the link with the longest subsequence, and I, well, yeah, obviously, but okay. Hmm. Reverse lexicographical order. We don't need, I don't know what that means. But uh, okay, I don't know. The hint didn't give me anything on the complexity. So I think that's it. That's all I have for this one. Ultimately, BFS. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah, stay good, stay healthy to come mental health. Let me know what you think about this problem. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.